Hi everyone, this is Munaiki Media, Munaiki Channeler. This is a video for BTS members, BTS Jimin, uh, Taehyung, and Jungkook about their current energies and what's most likely to happen in the months to come, okay? Welcome to everyone who's new on my channel. Please like, subscribe, and leave your kind comments down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So, we're going to start from BTS Jimin because he's the oldest among the trio. What's happening with Jimin? Ooh, this card. Ooh, flowing. I love it. Um, good. Maybe he's happy. Oh, uh, very, very happy. What else? Ooh, this is the lovers. Of course, there's a lot of love here. This is the Ace of Cups. That's a relationship. That's flowing love, romantic love. That's like a lot of desire. I feel that he's missing because to me this is the card of like thinking about someone or something that you want to be near, you want to do, but waiting, just uh, seeing from afar because you can't, you're not ready or you're um, not allowed, so many reasons, or you're not allowing yourself um, because this could also be that he's been having dreams on th or thoughts about someone but he, wow, in the last reading I just said because he was coming up as the uh, king of swords that he was unable to show his true feelings because he wanted to he didn't want to get distracted uh, uh, during his current work So, um, but I feel that he is saving so much to himself but he feels so much for this person, right? I do feel there's a relationship for him. We have the Five of Swords, which is, compa wow, comparison. Of course, he misses the past time in which he was like just all lovey-dovey with this person. And right now he's like kind of alone. He's not real alone, but he, well missing. <laughs> um, We have the Five of uh, once through this reading i'm not necessarily looking for like a love reading but if these cards are showing up i have to mention it so yes wow yeah i feel that he's been um he's lately more and more in touch with his like uh um emotions I don't know if he just recent, recently uh, had like an argument with this person. Yes, because we have fight right here. Um, he felt um, that they were like, oh, yes, because this is a different, just totally different energy. He feels like they are growing apart. And he's afraid uh, that might be the, the end of that situation, all right? Hmm. I just, what I just felt is um, that he's finally allowing himself to cry or to feel that he is uh, not feeling that well in their absence, so because in the past, I felt that he was like, I'm strong, I'm okay, I am doing what I'm doing. As long as I keep focusing on my mind and my reason, I'm just gonna do fine. But right now, I feel like it's not going that well for him. Um, all right. Yes, it's been taking a toll on him. It's like... <laughs> I think he's going to learn a lot from all of this. Because we have here uh, exhaustion. We have stress. Stressing out. We have disconnection. Amigability. Um, so I feel that even when he does his best to block any feeling. What he's actually doing is just repressing something that is... Uh, kind of making making him feel um uncomfortable all right so i think he is now 
rethinking what he uh, initially thought he should have done. So I feel that they will be talking later because he cannot continue again the king of swords. He cannot continue of that king of swords state of being. Yeah, oh, look at that. I can look at uh, those people. This is offering of love. So yeah, let's see with these cards. What's the ruling outcome? We have again the five of swords. Yes, what I'm feeling is also that he was like having a lot of headache. A lot of like, even in his bowel, a lot of like pressing, like it was very intense. Like he felt really uncomfortable physically. Um, I think he's missing out on people in general. Loved one, definitely a loved one, but other people as well. And uh, even some friends, some family. Um... I think he's looking forward to reuniting with these people. Why? Wow, we keep getting the same cards. This is the five of wands, which is, um, you know, so many people or so many um, contradicting ideas and thoughts and emotions. And we have the six, six of wands, which is more positive which is like changing your outcome just feeling confident again i don't know but i feel like he's looking forward to something we have oh wow i can't well the good thing is like uh i feel like he's been trapped in his thoughts and, and his feeling he may have been rest been feeling restless even like a lot of headaches, like something about his body, he wasn't feeling that well. But I feel that, um, look, this reunion, I love it. He might be finally uh, seeing the people that he's been looking forward to meet. This might take a while. He's impatient. He's like, oh my God, can we get there? Because I am so uh bored <laughs> um i just f am feeling so restless and he needs to find his motivation again and yes this is a confirmation that he's not been feeling well uh, emotionally so physically especially in the stomach okay um i know there's gonna be a party ascension i just heard ascension i don't know if he's receiving like um he's ascending i this might happen in like uh, in june or like a little later but it's like he's being receiving something a, another recognition right the thing is like he feels a lot of pressure for all this because he never thought he could lead, he could be that guy. Um, he kind of felt it because he was always very um, charismatic, but he was never in the position of guiding others or being an example of being the one everyone gets to look at. So he's kind of trying to regain that confidence, all right? Because I sometimes feel that he loses that confidence. Because he doesn't want to disappoint anyone. He doesn't want to let them down. Which is impossible. Everyone just loves him for who he is. But sometimes he puts so much pressure on himself. But there's something about six months. In six months, there's something beautiful that's happening for him. It could be the meeting of people reaching towards him, like friends. Someone very, very important. Him, like, finally been um traveling other places uh peace this is a car of peace of mind and uh, making his mind finally deciding what he needs to do right looking out for the people that he misses so dearly so let's see what's coming we have yeah, distraction. <laughs> That's the card that keeps coming for him. Um, 
I don't know. I think he's been worried about some news. Something that he saw in the news. And he wants to be there. He wants to take care of someone. But he feels so um, frustrated that he can't. Wow. Facade. Um. <gasps> Discourage. Like I said, um, it has everything to do with someone who he was pushing away just so he doesn't interfere in their life and vice versa. But it's now like, oh my God, I should have done that. That was a facade. I want this person back. And also, I feel that he's been hearing some news about people that you cannot trust. And he's been feeling, oh, yes, I just felt something. And he's very wholesome. I don't know why he's feeling in, in the news politically. Something that has been happening to other people, maybe kids. Maybe kids. Uh, that he feels so disheartened. That he feels so sad about. And he's like, I wish I could help everyone. I, I wish I could be for everyone who is helpless. I think he saw something in the news and he's like I wish I could be near my people because I really care about them and I feel so lonely and so disheartened about what that is just heard on the news all right he is so empathetic sympathetic so I guess that's what I'm feeling wow I love it um we have again stagnancy we have perseverance we have mysticism. I feel that sometimes he can't sleep because he's got some nightmares about what could happen. He's worried about others. About uh, He feels frustrated for not being there for others. So, yes. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. He's going to feel better. His guidance system is right there. He's going to find some signs. He might um, post about it. He might be showing you guys something about a butterfly. Or like nature. Or like a red flower. Alright. But something like he will show that he cares. That's what I'm feeling from Jimmy. Okay. Well guys. Uh, we're going to go for the next member. Which is Taehyung. See you there. All right, Taehyung. Ooh. All right, you guys, we're going to go for Taehyung's reading. Um, Yes, let's see. What are his current feelings? All right. We have possibilities. Ooh, yes. More projects coming for him. Uh, the company talking to him for uh, more options. Um, I think he's excited. I think he's evaluating his options. Um, yes, we have some contractual things. He's got some work to do. He's got, yeah, sometimes he feels like he wants to relax and he just wants to be like laying down and do nothing, like looking at the wall maybe. <laughs> but he's got so many things that are asked from him, all right? I don't think he regrets every decision he's made but he sometimes just wants to uh, have some vacations <laughs> he wants to wait, uh, be away from everyone because he feels that everyone is so loud they talk too much this is what i feel like everyone talks so much um could you be quiet for a little bit please that's what i'm feeling okay of course he's missing um this is dreams of um old times where he was like more careless everything was easier and he was doing what he wanted um i think he's missing his family everyone so many people yes but can be helped i think he's been having dreams because these two cards are dreams like real extreme dreams i feel that i feel there's something related to the scrutiny to the people 
it's like the fans or maybe the media or the anti anti fans like talking about him and he's like oh my god and he's been having some difficult dreams or nightmares um and it's like yes night time to wake up i'm gonna be okay all right whatever bye so he's dealing with that he's burning out some uh, dark energy <laughs> negative energy which is what we do during dreams so whenever you have a nightmare just when you wake up let it go let it go let it not affect you um what he worries about the most is not how he feels about them it's how his parents might feel about it he just doesn't want anyone who he loves uh, to be disappointed or sad for whatever other people are saying, right? That's what he cares about. I think Dehyum, he's he came to this planet. One of the things, one of his missions in life is like to clear a lot of energy from his like ancestors, in which they always uh, carry a lot of. Sadness is like they weren't allowed to express themselves, to be themselves, to be emotional. Because um, I feel that there was a lot of people who just shut down. Who will never allow themselves to be artists. To be on the public. That, that they will always hide. His, yes, and he's like, no, I need to be different. I'm going to be different and I'm going to be myself and I'm going to expose myself regardless of what other people say or think. And I'm going to live my life to the max and I'm going to do it my way. I feel like he's very Frank Sinatra kind of person. <laughs> I feel that he kind of sings that song whenever someone is like um, wanting to change his mind. Like He's like, yeah, but I do it my way in the end all right and i feel this that's going to be very helpful to the energy he's helping his ancestors clear clearing that energy in which they had to limit themselves to what others were preaching them and he's like no for me it's like no religion no limits the sky is not a limit you're not going to tell me who i'm going to date what am i going to eat what am i going to do <laughs> I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to live where I want. And I do it out of love. So I think that's his whole purpose. His growth is living in love. Um, of course, there's going to be people demanding differently from him. But I think he will. He will not abide. I feel so lovely, so much lovely energy coming out of this because it's like, yes, he's got a big company like backing him out, but eventually he will say whatever he wants. <laughs> I feel that they are always telling him to be careful with his words, but at some point he will just like not care. Even if he has to move out to someplace else, he will say what he needs to say. You will not restrict him unfairly because he did not come to this world to compromise his energy his own values and his passion so the synergy i'm feeling he wants to let loose and he wants to be surrounded by the people that he cares about um yeah so much beauty actually i think he's upset <laughs> uh yeah, people, sometimes people upset him. All right, let's see what's the possible outcome from for uh, Taehyung. Well, we have the Knight of Swords, which is what I said. Then, then Nightmares, so the like... We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh... And we have the Nine of Pentacles. I think he's... Oh, like I said, family is very important to him. 
but whenever he feels that his parents are like worried or like um affected negatively i think he does his best to send them something beautiful right for him uh, for them to feel better um Yes, I don't. I don't know. I feel like he's gonna change his address, or maybe he's gonna buy a house for his family because he wants them to be in like a safer, bigger place. All right. We have, of course, a lot of money here coming for him. So I feel that um, he's planning of what to do with his money. Maybe he's been thinking about a future um, investment, something to do maybe with real estate or maybe something related to buying things. I don't know, cars. I always feel something about cars for him. Um, oh, yeah, but something of big value, All right? To me, this is also, I don't know if this is a queen. Yes, uh, to, this is also to me a person <laughs> that he's constantly thinking about but he cares about everyone around him sometimes i just feel that he, he, he sometimes he feels regretful that he doesn't show enough and uh, with his actions but we may he make it up for it with like some gifts some details um cute sweet details okay Let's see with these oracle cards. Have taken wow, we have rejection. Wow, it's to me it's the, it's the same thing that I was feeling with this card. It's like he sometimes asks himself, I don't know why people criticize me. I I am very <laughs> I'm a very good guy. I am creative, I'm working my off, and I'm doing my best. And I'm, I, I'm um, offering you the, my best work. So I don't know why some people are like th trying to put me down. Trying to like wanting to drag me with them. I don't understand. But I'm continue working. <laughs> I'm going to continue doing what I like. I'm just going to do it better. But I'm going to do it my way. Balance. Equilibrium. Well, I think this is uh, him carrying his word of wisdom. And some people are like, hmm. <laughs> He's like, well, that's your way. That, and that's your way. But that's not my way. <laughs> Addicted to work, so yeah, he's thinking about his new projects. I think he's got so many ideas, mysticism, and, and the way that um, he's very spiritual. Like he's got this esoteric kind of like mystic energy around him. Like he can clean himself out of like anyone who wants to harm him. He's like okay whatever bye yes free yourself right it's like i don't hear you <laughs> i can hear you i'm, I'm okay <laughs> kind of like that all right um i do feel that there's there's uh i just got the the, the idea of how he perceives some people he thinks they're ghosts look at that he thinks they're ghosts. They are like um, an energy that is not prepared for goodness. Like, look at the cemetery. Like he's always surrounded by a very special kind of energy that he feels like he, he can, like, uh, he's bringing a lot of uh, clarity and love. But not everyone is ready. Not everyone is ready to receive what he came here to show. And he's like, oh, well. Take it or leave it. So, yeah. Wow, soulmate. Work. Faith, yes. 
Um, I think he, he his only belief in his mind is his angels, the same cards that came up for Jacob. He talked to his angels, to his guidance. That's what. That's the only that he needs when he's not feeling that well because uh, people are criticizing him for whatever he's working on or whatever he's doing in his his life. He's like, I'm gonna trust my guidance system, my soulmates, because I don't think he just see one soulmate in his life. I feel that he calls his friends, his soulmates, his family members, soulmates, uh, his uh, romantic partner, soulmate. So he lives, he, 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 that's, that's his life. So this is what I'm feeling for him. Thank you so much. You guys, we're going to go for the next member, which is Jungkook. So let's go. Hey everyone, oh, all right, <laughs> we're going to wait a little longer. This is our reading for BTS Jungkook. Let's see what's going on with Jungkook. You know, I'm an intuitive reader, like, um, of course, uh, I just feel the energy. I, I like feeling what's going on. Let's see what's coming from with Jungkook, like he's scoring energy, all right? We have a uh, rebirth, which is like um, feeling better starting to rebuild himself i think he's feeling like more light fit i don't know he's been dancing he's been enjoying himself maybe he went someplace where there was music and he's finally enjoying that free time and he's like i don't know maybe waking up very early or like being looking at the skies and feeling the connection i think he's very feeling very spiritual at the moment Jungkook, BTS Jungkook. Ooh, all right. I just can't help but keep picking up the lover's card for some of them. Uh, all right, yes, as you can see, this to me is him being highly motivated to live life and enjoy life because he just found someone that he likes. Yes. And this might be this might be turning into like a relationship because we have the ten of cups lovers strength which is you know the couple and of course this beautiful life that it's attraction feeling really attracted to someone and of course renewing himself let me see which card just fell for him oh okay it was inner voice hmm I don't know if this person is uh, a Taurus or like Taurus. This is also cancer related energy. We have the fight. I think he's fighting himself. <laughs> Sorry, because I don't see him fighting anyone. I think there's an inner fight. That's that's uh, his common energy is like having an inner five with thoughts, different kind of thoughts on how he should approach someone or some situation. So he, because he doesn't like to fight other people, he takes it to himself, and that's why he's so hard to himself because he knows that everyone is a reflection of your own character. Everyone in this. Uh, humanity in this universe in this reality is a reflection of how you feel and so it will be uh pointless if he fights the person he knows that he needs to release that within himself that he needs to make peace with himself wow that's what i'm getting for here which is very very wise now i get it that's why he doesn't like fighting others because it's like i need to release this for myself but if this is something i don't like i need to let it go and so I think he's been having some important conversations and I love it because this is finally making a decision, finally knowing what to do. And this is like his guidance. This is to me like the Michael, Archangel Michael, because to me, the, the aces are like the archangels. It's like a consciousness. It's like a knowing, all right? So I feel that he's going to make really good decisions for him because in the past, he was feeling a little bit compromised and 
secluded all right so and of course indecisive we have many cards that are wanting to come out but let's please take it easy cards i know there's a lot of energy going on within him like he is peace at something i mean he was peace he was upset he was uh, oh wow <laughs> He was really upset with so many people. He was frustrated. He wanted to fight everyone. Um, oh, let's take it easy. All right. Thank you. This is the card I wanted to show up. Um, he felt that he was doing his best and still it wasn't enough. It's not about physical uh, strength. It was about uh, inner strength. He felt that he didn't belong where he is. In the way that he's like, I don't like showing that kind of strain of fighting. I mean, I don't want to have an inner dispute. Like, uh, I don't know how, yes, I don't know how to put it into words. But it's like, I don't want to be a fighter. So he had a lot of inner uh, divisiveness. Like, he didn't know how to make peace of all of this. He had so many intrusive thoughts, worriness. He thought that he wasn't doing enough. He wasn't being enough at some point. So I feel that it's being very continuous a battle within himself. But lately, this has been changing. Probably uh, because of someone that he's met or like something very beautiful that he came across that is making him feel so good and yes it could be related to love because as we can the lovers but it can be also that he can magically work finally with the people that he wanted to work with maybe they're his friends maybe he's working with his best best friends with his besties and he's like yes finally i'm so excited it's coming and i think is like anticipating and he wants everyone to appreciate and um i think he's experienced a lot of gro growth inner growth all right because i feel that he went through this distressed being the outsider feeling so upset and finally knowing that he is the creator of his own reality <laughs> oh my god uh and like he's like trying to put an order so oh, i think he's enjoying i think he even feels that he's in the position to tell others how to help themselves feel better like if he's seeing people so uncomfortable so unease so out of place and fighting with each other and he's like guys listen to me like a guide oh my god i just felt this uh messiah kind of energy like they are surrounding him and they are like please uh jungkook <laughs> sensei jungkook tell us what to do we hear you and he's like if people wants to know what i'm saying what people wants to hear me and like his key his chi his energy is like growing and growing that's so powerful beautiful um yeah so what's the possible outcome from all of this because i feel that he's having lots of fun a lot better than he was doing at the beginning because the, it, um initial readings it show that it wasn't easy for him so let's oh wow we have the five of cups which is like let's see let's see seven of pentacles this is like remorseful like that's the the thoughts that i was talking uh, about that he was feeling that he was all helpless at some point he wanted to hear the answer he wanted to receive a sign um and yes finally it's here we have the ten of cups twice it's like he feels scared 
I don't know if he's been listening to some podcast, like some people talking about, uh, I don't know, <laughs> because what I've been feeling is like a lot of like spiritual knowledge. So it's like he has been looking up on, on maybe YouTube, uh, um, podcast, Spotify, like for some information about the beginning of the new age, <laughs> kind of like the age of Aquarius, like being spiritual, uh, I don't know, but I feel like he's more like kumbaya kind of person. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the beginning of the new era and I love it for him because I've been predicting for a long time that he will probably do like an own uh, inner search and travel the world even on his own, even with just a backpack because he wants to focus on his connection to the world. Right, oh, this is his assets, like it's like money in general. Um, people talking to him about his um, money and um, I do think he cares about it. He will he continue to grow his um, abundance and he's gonna learn about it about how to be how to be more organized with his money uh maybe there's some place that he wants to move he wants to move to different city um but yeah i think he's so appreciative of all the blessings that he was able to collect throughout these years which is uh everything and i think he's enthusiastic about it now because i feel that some of this money will be used for the creation of like maybe houses or places for others like uh, for yes to help the community in general right yes let's see what else oh i love it look at that he's in the position of being yeah yes it's like he hire like a um and Spanish is contador, in, in English maybe is accountant. <laughs> He's hiring an accountant um, so he can know what to do with his money. I think he wants to help others, all right? He wants to divide his money, maybe many you know, charity places, like I said, charity costs Um or places that benefit benefit other people. All right, I love it. Um, yes, we're gonna check. Oh, I love it because I always feel a lot of children energy that he's taking care of the children. Uh, yes, just, 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 just. What a check with the Oracle Koi. All right, we have re rejection. Yes, he felt like he was on his own in the past. We have illumination, enlightenment, which is like yes, I'm on my way. I'm I'm on my path. I'm good now. I am uh, letting loose. I am feeling lighter. I don't need much to enjoy life. And uh, maybe he's found someone like a guru that he's been listening to. Someone who's very enlightened. And I feel that he wants to become that. And like I said, I feel that many people that didn't even see him in the past. Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. Is this, this is the first time this made me feel of this made me think of John Lennon. And I was saying that a lot of people are surrounding him, like asking him for advices. And I feel that's what's happening. Like people are uh, wanting to go near Jungkook just to hear from him, which is interesting. We have um, distraction and we have faith. This is what I was saying. He's been listening to some kind of like maybe YouTube, like something. And he's been, wow, working on his own faith. Becoming more spiritual. He's like, yes. Maybe he's been even talking to his uh, guidance systems, his angels. And he's like, yes, I think I see clear now. All right. 
But I think he's very excited. We have soulmate. Ooh. Like, I wasn't... Uh, uh, it's like, yes, but don't forget he's got he's met someone that he really likes. Um, yes, because it's right on the side of all that lover's card. You know, the position of the cards is so important. <laughs> so I love it. Um, and we have confusion because this was, this was in the past. All right. He didn't know why he was where he was for a while. It's like, wanna know. Please, I wanna know. Let me know. Why? Why can I get out of this? I want, I just, and he finally feel enlightened. He listened to something that made him clear of what he wanted to be. And he's now even finding someone that he really likes. He appreciates. Oh, uh, all right. Last card. Praying, which is like, you know, meditation, which is deciding which, which direction to go in the future. And look at that. Conclusion of the old John Cook. And the beginning of a new perception of life. I think he's going to talk to you guys soon. I think he's going to show a picture of something. In, in his case, I think it's something related to uh, magic. Maybe crystals. Uh, something very beautiful. Something about... Um, like I said, like the beginning of the new era. <laughs> so maybe a female song that depicts that message all right thank you so much thank you everyone for joining to my channel uh thank you so much for watching my videos for subscribing and for leaving your comments down below uh i appreciate you all i wish you all the best please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will know about the features that are coming on my channel take care you guys i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye heart you all